greatest help to world communism often has come from prominent and respectable leaders within the United States. Obviously, these men are not communists. As a matter of fact, most of them are extremely wealthy and are thought of as capitalists, who supposedly would have the most to lose under socialism and communism. And yet, the record is disturbingly consistent. And Americans repeatedly have asked, why? supposedly would have the most to lose under socialism and communism. And yet the record is disturbingly consistent. And Americans repeatedly have asked, why? 